Hi, shalom to uh, all of our great Nevei friends and all the friends that are out there. A hey, wonderful Hanukkah to everybody. I had a couple of thoughts. Very often I send out a little message to you guys, but I just thought I would send out a video. It's more of a, a little more of a direct contact, even though I'm kind of talking to a camera. But um, still, I had a few more thoughts than just would usually fit into the normal space. I also want to thank uh, our good friend uh, Josh Goldberg. She can have a lot of bracha, him and his family. It's, uh, it's Hanukkah. My son asked me a great question. Hanukkah is a time that we bring light into the world. How do we add a little more, more light into our world? How do we do it? I mean, it's all, you know, it's all good to try to think about conquering and making big changes, but how do we bring a little bit of light into our world? So I want to tell you, after he asked me that question, the very same day, I had a visit from one of the Talmudim. Some of you guys maybe, maybe know Shmuel Nussbaum. And he told me a great story. He told me he was talking to a friend of his, and this friend needed to be heard. But there was more to the story, but he needed to be heard. And before he gave him any suggestions, he decided how much does he have to listen to him? How deeply does he have to hear what he's saying? And he said he, he, was, he tried to li think about when this fellow was about to fall asleep at night and his mind is racing with what's on his mind. And he, he said if he could empathize with a guy on that level and think about what his life would be like, what, what his reality is like when he's sleeping on his bed, when he's lying down in his bed. He felt only when he felt that connected was he able to say a few words of encouragement or suggestion? So I was thinking, what, what do we, how do we bring in a little light? Because you listen to somebody. You think about what is the person thinking. The other person that we can think about is what are we thinking? We have a wonderful thing. It's called a cell phone. We've got an iPad, an iPod, all sorts of wonderful equipment to help us communicate and accomplish but sometimes it's hard to hear ourselves and to hear others. I'm not out to speak about that in particular. I'm out to think about listening. Sometimes the Shem talks to us. Maybe we can't quite hear it. And we've got to get a little tefillah. We have to throw out a tefillah. Shem, let me hear what you're saying. Let me hear a little thought, a little, a little idea, a little change. I want to say a bracha. Thank Hashem. Baruch Hashem, i got an apple. A little thing. So that's, that's really the message, in my opinion, of Hanukkah. Because it's a time, especially for our good friends that are living in the States, it's a time that a lot of lights and the stores and it's fancy. There's a lot going on. And we light a little light, a little light. And that little light shines very, very bright. And you have to know, Rabosai, dear friends, the Jewish people have been lighting one little light at a time. And we've changed the world through one light at a time. And that, in my opinion, is the message of Hanukkah. And in short, I think the message is, you may agree with this line, the idea is think small. When you want to be thinking, we're always th my wife wants me to, make, to tell everybody, like, don't get confused with the message, we've got to think big too. But try to remember, this is, my this is my motto for this Hanukkah, is think small. If we think small, we think, what can we do about it now? As my Rosh Kol always tells me, what can I do to bring a little bit more light in this situation right now. We add a little more light, a little more light, and that's how we add, uh, we add our Hanukkah lights, one light at a time, and it gets a bigger and bigger light until Bez Hashem will light up the person next to us, he'll help light us up, that light, light back, we'll create more and more light until the whole world will be filled with light and caring, and Hashem, the light of Mashiach, we should see it soon. Have a wonderful Hanukkah.